Now, there's another thing we can do, and sometimes you don't want any of this uh, correlation stuff like as it is, right? And you can actually just use a function called correlation coefficient. So all you do is you get that correlation coefficient between the two. So if we, for example, copy those two again, yeah? And then we go np dot cor coef. This is the correlation coefficient. And we do this, yeah? What we actually get is a correlation matrix. So these are basically the, the autocorrelations. And, and because, you know, we have two different leg or, or the, say the, the, the X minus leg with itself and the other X, the correlation between those two is one. Yeah. And the off diagonals are basically the correlation between this one and this one. Yeah. Does it make sense? So, so it's a bit like, I don't know, do you understand what the covariance matrix is? Have you heard that? Not sure. What it basically means is uh, the diagonals are the, the uh, correlations of the inputs with itself and the off diagonals are um, the correlations um, between the two. And you see that they're the same value in the off diagonals because one is the correlation of you know, of this with this, and the other one is the correlation of this with this. So they're both is, the same. Is it related to like the, the diagram we had where you had like the ones kind of diagonal and then everything else around it was like darker or like lighter? In, in, in some sense, it's like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so again, the, the, yeah, this, this is a similar thing. Yeah. So, so these are basically the correlations between the different components that we look at. In this case, it's only two. There's just no more there. Mm -hmm. no, right. okay. So we can plot it as it is. Now, the reason why we do this is you can see here is this 5.02. And if we just look at our M, you can see it's the same. Uh, sorry, 0 0.502, not 5.02, 0 mm -hmm. 0.502. So this is the same uh, correlation. So that linear regression slope is basically what we get when we run the correlation coefficient. Yeah. And so in order to just extract one, we, because we don't need all the, we only need one value, which is either this one or this one, we could just go something like the zero comma one. Yeah. We just index it so that we just get this one, for example. And so that we get just the number. Yeah. Now, once we have done this, then all we need to do is we basically go through all the different legs, right? And we take all the different correlations for each leg, and then we can plot them. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So we could just say, for example, for leg in range, 20. Yep. Then we say, this is our COF. And what we want to do is we want to put them in a list. So we do COF dot append. Actually, when I put lists, I usually make, I uh, use a, a, the plural. So COFs. Yep. So we go COFs equals a list. Yeah. Empty list. And then we can run this through all the different legs. So remember here, we just looked at leg one. Here we actually see, we, we looked at 10 different legs when we ran this. So there's 10 different correlations with each other. And normally what we would see is because actually here we have only a core, here where we introduce is only a correlation to the previous one, what we should see like what, 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 what would you think we should see when we plot this? Actually, this is a good question. What do you think we should see when we, when we look at the different correlations at different legs, given what you know about how we constructed the series? Say, say at like two, like three, like four, what sort of correlation would you expect to see at these different legs? 
the the first thing that pops into my mind is like a, a similar one kind of because look at this look at this so we only introduced the correlation to the <laughs> previous return right so now think about it we only introduced the correlation to the previous return at basically that's a correlation at like one what would we see? What sort of correlations would we see at the next leg and the next leg and the next leg? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure like if it's the right words, but like a decreasing one, like okay. because it it depends always on the, the leg beforehand. So it's like going less because we, we talked last time about it that like when you have a zero and one and then it gets always less. So like if we're now doing this, it would get less and less and less because it's always depending on the previous one again. And then, yeah. Very good thinking. Excellent. Excellent. That's pretty good. So let's, let's see. 